feel like it's more than just two lifestyles because the first step is the facade. We all live in a facade. It's the purpose of what we think we want. It's the purpose of what we think we have, what we think we need or, you know, but then you have that second part where it's the, I'm just now getting here, but I don't know who I am, mm. you know? And that's a lifestyle. Yeah. But the third part is the getting through part because now we didn't broke through it. Now we know where we are going. We know where we deserve to go. You know, and I heard that a lot today that we can't let nobody steal that from us. No matter how much we cry, no matter how much we might stick it out and be strong through it all, but we better, you know, like it's a breakthrough. I'm telling you, my journey been going for 13 years, but honestly sitting here looking at it, it's been going way longer than that. I'm 37. And it's a lot of problems that I did not realize that I was still facing. It's a lot of things that I didn't still realize that I still have to grow from, mm -hmm. you know? And taking that accountability and that reality check. Ooh, it's a reality check. Cause you know how God comes in and it's like a breath of fresh air and he lets you know how to believe it all. All you gotta do is seek his faith and seek his face and give it to him. For a long time, I, I stay stuck in that as well because a lot of people can put a spiritual warfare on you and you don't even realize it. And I had to realize that I had to find God on my own. I had to give it to him. And when I say I had to give it to him, I had to give it to him and in the process of giving God everything that I had in me because it's him that gives it to me. Y'all just don't know. This smile ain't left my face no matter what. Throughout the tears that I'm sitting here as I listen to this story, as I go through this process, as I sit in my classes, as I go through the journey with my sisters, I go through the journey yeah. with my sisters, y'all. Like, I really do. One of them, I wish she was here today. She really needs to be right here with me today. Um, but a question I was asked during my interview, Michelle, do you understand everybody can't go on your purpose? Mm. <laughs> and that question stuck with me until today. And looking at this room, no. Some make it because the purpose is greater for those that need it. God see his strongest and his survivors, and we are here. We in this room. It's a purpose for us now, you know? And for the others, they gotta wait for their moment. God ain't caught him yet. He ain't caught him yet, but he caught us. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful, y'all. Like, I am an entrepreneur. <laughs> in so many ways, because I like to invest in all my talent. You know, I like to invest in doing hair. I make soapy candles. I like to draw. Those are so many talents that I had to hide going through this domestic violence process because he didn't like my smile, but he wanted to pray with me every day. He didn't like the person I was, but we was in church faithfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when I wanted to break free, it was like I wasn't there for him no more. But God was all I have. And now I see that I got God and he brought me together with a whole new family. Mr. Toy, I love you for this family. I love you for the journey. You've held my hand for eight years. <laughs> Y'all, it's been eight years. And it's getting better. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep fighting. I hear you. I hear all my ladies. I hear all my sisters. And we got this. Keep fighting because we got to fight for our babies. I don't want to see none of our babies in this state, y'all. But it, it never knows. It might or may not. But at least we got the tools now to go forward. Stuck it out with your mama. She got you. Or she wouldn't be here. She gonna protect you better. 
now that we got them tools, we know how to do it better. And we're gonna keep learning how to do it better. It's all out of love. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it.